Hello and welcome to The Taster. And today we're looking at, well, a couple of weeks ago we looked at coffee, so it's no prizes for guessing what today's episode is about. Yes, it's tea. And you may well be able to hear, just over to the side here, the sound of boiling, which is the kettle just off the screen. And what I'm going to do right away, so we can start steeping these beauties, is to pour some boiling water on four tea samples, which I have got ready for today. So let me just do that. Now, tea is the second most drunk drink in the world, apparently, behind water. Um, and you may or may not know that it is, it comes from the same family as the camellia. In fact, it's, it's um, the, the plant that all tea comes from is called Camellia sinensis. So it's in the same family as the camellias you may well have in your garden. Um, now, let me just check that those are around about the same fill. Yep, yeah, they are. Okay, so what I've got today is um, four examples of tea. Um, now, specifically, I'm looking at black tea today. Um, the difference in the types of tea, as far as black, green, white, and so forth, is essentially down to the amount of withering, wilting, and oxidation that the tea leaves are subject to. So, um, all tea is made up of the leaves, the buds, and the stems of the tea. Um, and if you stop it wilting and uh, oxidizing very quickly, um, and then you dry the, the, the leaves, you will have a green tea. If, however, you let them go on and on until they're fully oxidized and maybe bruise them a little bit to encourage them along the way, you'll have a black tea. And in between, you'll get a, a white tea, which has got some slight oxidation going on. So, um, however, the four examples of, of tea I've got here today are all, um, they're all black teas. And what's more, they're all from China. Um, now, China's the biggest uh, producer of tea in the world followed by the countries of the Indian subcontinent, and then you've got countries like Kenya uh, bringing up the rear behind that as well. Turkey is another one in sort of Europe or uh, Asia Minor kind of area. So um, China's a good place to start. As I say, black tea, and I've got four examples here. They all come from a company which I found on the internet called the Canton Tea Company, um, and they do a really cool little um, tin box with four samples of some of their uh, most popular teas in them. Um, and so what they sent me was um, tea number one, which is the not very uh, briefly named First Flush Darjeeling Gidapa China Delight. Bit of a mouthful. Um, the second one is the Bai Lin uh, Gong Fu. Third one here is the Kimun Hao Ya. And the fourth one here is what they call their Superior Earl Grey. So... Now I've let these steep now for I think about three or four minutes. Um, what I used, incidentally, what I've got here are four uh, latte cups, so they're heat resistant glasses, um, and that means we can see the, the colour of the teas. Um, and into each of these I have dropped one of these tea balls, which I thought were really cool. I found these the other day at the shop and I thought this would be perfect for the taster. So what I'm gonna do is just take these out now, put them into the spittoon here. I think they've had long enough. Let's bring that over here so it can drip over my notebook. And yeah, so I put about a teaspoon or so into each of these. Same amount, same amount of water. So you know, the only thing which is going to differentiate the teas here is going to be the the actual product itself. So there we go. That's all four of those in there. And wow, I mean, there's a real. There's a real, you, I'm sure you can see this in the camera um, today. There's a big difference in the different in the in the colours we've got for the different teas. Most particularly this first one, the first flush Darjeeling, which is very pale and sort of lemony honey colour. Um, and then the the other three are kind of reddish brown. This is very brown orange, and then these two are both kind of red. This is a very vivid red, which is the the dark, the um, sorry, it's the Earl Grey. So, okay, that's what they look like. They're very different. I was quite surprised, actually, with that. I was imagining they might be a little bit closer. Um, and I certainly didn't put any less tea in this first one, which, in case you're wondering. 
So I'm going to use a spoon because it's going to be very hot um, and by using a spoon it helps, to get, it helps to get a little bit more air into the mouth which helps me to taste as well. So let's give the first one a go um, and I'll bring up the spittoon as well so it's handy. So this is the first flush Darjeeling. Um, very light um, and refreshing, um, slightly bitter. Um, and also a slightly sort of nutty flavour as well in there. Um, so let's try the second one. This is the Bai Lin Gong Fu. Wow, that's really different. Um, it's much thicker and kind of creamier. Um, texture about it. Um, it's actually quite delicious. It's really nice. Um, it's it's kind of sweet. It's it's got a honey-like um, or caramel-like quality to it, and it's definitely uh, it, it almost tastes like maybe there's a little bit of sweetener in there, although I, I know there isn't. Um, very nice. Um, so the third one. This is the Kimun Hao Ya. I'll spell these on the on the blog so that you can read them because I'm sure my pronunciation is slightly off. Um, give that one. Mm. That one is, that's kind of floral um, or smelling, um, um, it's kind of maybe fruity on the, on the taste. Um, it tastes kind of summer-like somehow to me, um, very refreshing. Um, and then finally, let's go for this superior Earl Grey. Mm. Yeah, and that one's totally different, um, again, to all the others. Of course, being Earl Grey, it's got uh, a flavouring in it. It's um, that the tea leaves, in this case, um, a blend of Darjeeling leaves, have been infused with the oil of the bergamot orange, so which is a citrus fruit. Um, and as, as many of you will know, that's, that's the, the, the bergamot oil is traditionally used to flavour Earl Grey and Lady Grey teas. And in here, it, it gives a very striking citrusy um, flavour to the tea. Um, as a matter of interest, I mean, I've had, I'm not always a big fan of Earl Grey, but that's delicious um, and very different to a lot of the Earl Greys that I've had before from the supermarket and that sort of thing. So um, they're all very different. Um, I think, uh, I'm just trying to think of which my, my favourite would be. I, I'm actually pretty, don't have to think about it too long. Um, this one here was absolutely delicious. It's got that kind of sweet, honey-like um, quality about it, and I'm just going to give it another quick taste. Mm. Yeah, so the, the Bai Lin Gong Fu, this one get, definitely gets my vote, and I think I'd give that um, an 18 out of 20. Um, my second favourite, I, I think, is going to be the Earl Grey. Um, it's by far and away the best Earl Grey I've ever tasted. Let's give it another go. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's very nice. Um, I'll give that a 17. Um, so, bringing up the rear, the, these other two, the, which is the first flush Darjeeling, I'll give that another taste now. Yeah, it's got that sort of slight nuttiness about it. It's 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 lighter. I think it's got less flavour just generally than the others, um, but it, it, it certainly is light and refreshing. Um, I'll try this one and decide which one I prefer out of the two. Yeah, this one's a lot richer and it's got more texture. And, and body, uh, I, I prefer this one. I'm going to give this a 15 and I'll give this one a 14. So, um, well that's my first foray into the world of tea tasting. Um, I'm not sure there'll be a lot more. There's a whole world of tea out there, including green and white teas, yellow tea, 
Puer tea, I'm not sure if that's the right way of saying it, but that seems to be very popular nowadays, so it's a subject I'll definitely be returning to. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Um, have a look on the, the website, uh, www.thetaster.co.uk, and do leave a comment. Thanks very much. Goodbye.